Let me begin by saying that I am pleased to welcome all of you to this special summit of the Committee of Heads of State and Government participating in the African Peer Review Mechanism here in Addis Ababa. And indeed, thank you all for honoring the invitation to attend this important gathering. Let me also thank my brother, the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Halemari M. Desalein, as well as the people of Ethiopia for the warm and friendly welcome that they have extended to all of us. At the very onset, I would like to express my deep appreciation to the Committee of Heads of State and Government participating in the Africa Peer Review Mechanism for electing me to the position of chairperson during our summit in Johannesburg six months ago. Further, allow me to convey my apologies for rescheduling the extraordinary summit that was initially supposed to take place in Nairobi in September of 2015, the postponement being necessitated by un unavoidable circumstances. But I am indeed glad that we now have the opportunity to deal with the agenda that we had outlined for ourselves. Your Excellencies, I am determined with your support to see to it that the APRM is revitalized and realigns its rightful place as an effective and innovative governance tool for our continent. This special summit is aimed at discussing the current challenges facing the APRM and agreeing on practical and clear ways of revitalizing this mechanism. We will also seek avenues for improving the mechanism's relevance and impact. As you all appreciate, the APRM process is an unprecedented initiative. It is a unique apparatus that we created voluntarily to help each other but as participating members undertake extensive assessments in all the sectors of governance. Since its inception in 2003, it has made significant progress. Today, 37 countries have voluntarily acceded to the APRM, and of these, 17 have been peer-reviewed. The APRM has opened up space for policy debate and fostered a culture of national dialogue between citizens and their governments. And indeed, I take this opportunity to commend Djibouti, Zambia, and Tanzania, all of which were reviewed recently. The reviews have been key in helping us identify areas that require improvement to create an enabling environment to pursue our development agenda. It is my hope and indeed expectation that the remaining countries will also expedite the process of initiating reviews. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Despite the achievements cited above, I think you will all agree with me that the APRM has lost its vitality. When it was conceived, the APRM was driven with much enthusiasm because it embodied then, as I believe it does now, the promise of entrenching good governance and accountability, which are necessary for the success of Africa's development agenda. The review process has slowed down, and half of the member states have not commenced the process. In addition, financial contributions necessary to ensure Africa's ownership of this process have also dwindled, as have contributions from strategic partners. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for the APRM to achieve its full potential, and indeed take its place of pride as an African-wide mechanism, it is imperative to strengthen its linkages with NEPAD programs, engage with our regional economic communities, and interface with, implement with the implementation of frameworks 
such as the Africa Union Agenda 2063 and the Sustainable Development Goals Agenda 2030. We must therefore hasten its integration into the African Union system. This will make the me mechanism much more credible, relevant, and visible at the continental stage, and will give impetus to our revitalization efforts. In addition, we should actively strengthen the linkages within the APR organs, namely the APR Forum, Committee of Focal Points, the Panel of Eminent Persons, and the APR Secretariat. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we discuss ways to revitalize the APRM, it is critical that we look back at its inception as well as reflect on the values that motivated us to set up this peer review process. The base document that we adopted to guide us indicated that, and I quote, the pi primary purpose of the APRM is to foster the adoption of policies, standards, and practice that lead to political stability, high economic growth, sustainable development, and accelerated sub-regional and continental integration through sharing of experiences and reinforcement of successful best practices, including identifying deficiencies and assessing the needs for capacity building, I end quote. At the time, we were very clear in our minds that one of the most important ways that we will be able to overcome Africa's challenges was through the establishment of good governance mechanisms in our countries. <coughs> this principle was true 13 years ago when we adopted it, and I said again, and I believe it is still true today. I therefore call upon all of us to reaffirm our commitment to the purpose, spirit, and values of the Africa Peer Review Mechanism and to do all that we can together to make it something that we can all be proud of. Let us encourage the brotherly countries that have not yet acceded to the mechanism to come on board, and let us also honor our financial obligations by paying our APRM subscriptions on time. Let us be the generation that entrenches good governance across our continent for the advancement of our people and for future generations. In conclusion, I take this opportunity to thank our acting CEO, Dr. Mayaki, for his commitment to this process and to seeing us through to where we are. I thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much.